Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is the May the seventh, two thousand and twenty-one. We need to talk about Palantir. Okay, the last time we did our price prediction in the market in Palantir was on the fourteenth of April. And take a look at the price action. Take a look at what the trap has done against our prediction. If you guys cannot see, we did not get that correct at all, and it happens. You know, I, I'm gonna be forward with with each and every one of you that you will get your price predictions wrong, but it's an opportunity for you to learn on the next go around as to how to eliminate him tricking us into getting in some bad predictions, right? So we're gonna break this down. We're gonna talk about what has occurred in the market action in Palantir versus our overall prediction. And then we're gonna make sure we get back in position again so that we can win into the market in Palantir, all right? so. If today's your first time ever viewing our content, you all appreciate how someone is actually in this space. Give me all the expectations to where price is going to go right before the market actually gets there. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, and as well, join us. Come back again and again and watch these videos so that you can continue to learn on your own as to how to call the markets. Right? You need to be more independent in your thinking and not be solely dependent on all of these YouTube channels telling you to buy, 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 buy on the dips, buy when the market drops lower, buy on red days, just buy and never tell you when the market's gonna drop, right? We're the only place that's gonna give you that. When we expect the market to drop, we'll let you know. When we think the market's gonna go higher, we'll tell you that as well. If we're not expecting too much price action, we'll tell you that too. We're, we're gonna be unbiased in where the market is gonna go because you know why? The trap doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about me. He just wants to take the bread. So we need to think on the same type of mind frame so that we can be more reasonable in, in the sense as to where price is going to go. You need to become non-emotional when you're into these markets because there's a lot of beasts out there that has no emotional aspects of breaking the bank in your account. So you need to think the same way and have no emotions when you come in and participate with these sharks. They don't care about you all right so let's break this, break this down real quick as to what occurred into the market on our last video you guys can check it out it is in our palantir playlist we're not going to hide anything from any of our subscribers our viewers we want you all to continue to learn as much as possible so that you can gain the advantage over the trap it's just that simple so go back listen to that video and see what has occurred because on that video we told you all that, you know, these particular time frames, the market was looking great. OK, you guys can tell that we did not end out that way. We had like two days in order for, you know, the weekly time frame to conclude the three weeks time frame to end and take a look at the overall market. Like there is more selling going on in Palantir than there are buyers. This whole opportunity, all of these three week price bars has been nothing but people getting out their Palantir positions right and there's not enough buyers in the market to uphold this price because if it were the market in palantir would not be moving lower and lower and lower it would not be the case if there was true demand coming in from the market and it's not there so yeah our last price prediction we didn't get it right we had our tp price at two areas the first one was around 27 the next one was around 29 and the market in palantir on the 14th completely closed on the low so we were already eyeing the market the next day or the, the same day of when we did our prediction in palantir like okay something is not right okay we were seeing the market strength in palantir and then the same day we saw nothing but weakness and since then the market continues to drop in price so this is the overall environment you know you got to be honest with what the market is dropping and take it as what it is. The market is not giving us any strength. And you're gonna start seeing people come out telling you to buy the dip, buy the dip, and buy the dip. But the problem is, you don't have infinite amount of resources to put in these buys, in these plays. You just need to sit the sideline. Don't participate into the market until we actually find a bottom. Because all of these people who came in and bought on these dips, right? There's videos out telling you to buy the dips and the market in Palantir continues to dip, continues to dip, continues to dip. It makes no sense. Just sit the sideline. Don't deploy any capital into the market until the market stops dipping. 
It's just that simple. Because you have no idea as to where the market is going to stop. Where it's going to be the stoppage of support. So yeah, we got this wrong. We're going to take this out right there around 19 and a quarter percent. We didn't get it right, which is it's going to happen. But you just need to understand that you need to minimize those losses, right? Once you see the market going against you, you need to actually just cut it, move on to the next play or sit the sideline until you know where the market holding support is going to be. OK, so 19 and a quarter percent right there didn't end right for us, but it goes that way. He wins some and we win the majority of the time, though. All right. So let's check this out. So first thing is first. All right. It looks as if. Everyone who participates in Palantir, everyone who's in the market for this stock is trying to come in and grab some support. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lower our support area in the market in Palantir. OK, right around here. Now, as I go over through these time frames, pay attention to see what type of price bars we are getting, because if we're still seeing weakness in the market in Palantir, right there around $20 then we are still under the premise that the market is weak because the overall trend in Palantir is one of weakness. So now let's look at this on the two day time frame, and you guys can tell the volume has been increasing in the market in Palantir as we've been seeing the market dip. That also tells you that people have been selling out their positions in Palantir, right? So. I'm going to extend out that line right there. This volume lets me know that the market may have a, a one more quick dip back down here towards $18. All right. Uh, let's look at this on the three day time frame here. The market is still weak in Palantir. The uh, other areas of restriction now going forward in Palantir is going to be right there around 22. It's going to be the first area. OK, right there around twenty two dollars and fifty cents. But the bigger area of restriction is going to be up here towards um, 24. Okay. So let's look at this on the five day. Okay. The five day time frame literally is telling us that this particular market in Palantir is still giving us some weakness. This five day price bar right here tells us that the market generally is weak. And that's why we're seeing the market going lower right now. We still got five days left in six hours. The market actually is trying to prop itself up. Earnings is coming up next week, May the 11th, 2021. Best believe that the market is going to play on that. OK, the market is going to play in Palantir on that particular price action. Can we see the same amount of volume like we did here on the last earnings release? Or are we going to see the market dry up? To where we can finally expect to see some support come into the market in Palantir. Let's look at this on a weekly time frame. Even here on the weekly time frame, the market here in Palantir is still going to some weakness. Buyers are stepping in though. Okay, right here, the market is seeing buyers coming into the market in Palantir. But can it be sustained? That is the question. Two weeks time frame. Even here, the market is still giving us weakness here in Palantir. You know, I really won't become bullish into the market in Palantir until we see this price break up, break back up above at least twenty three to twenty four dollars. Right. I really won't become switch the notion that the market in Palantir is giving us any strength until that occurs. And this is the three weeks time frame, like. There is no strength at all in the market in Palantir on a three week time frame. I don't care what anyone tells you. There is no strength. The only thing that is propping this price up and that is stopping it from really falling, falling is right there around 20. But there's no one interested in really pushing this market high in price, i.e. once the trap changes his emotions and wants to flip the market, that's when we'll see the market go high in Palantir. And so far, I don't see it. It's not there yet. So let me switch this over to the hourly time frame. And as you can tell, yeah, we've been in a downtrend for a while. That's why the market currently is seeing some higher price movement. 
But as I told you, I won't become bullish until I see this market in Palantir break above 24. All right. And actually, that trading range, I really won't become bullish or see a movement change as to us decreasing in value until we break above 26. And this is the reason why I'm looking for the market to at least prop itself up momentarily. Let's take a look at all that volume that came in on that three hour bar. Go ahead and push it in a little closer. A lot of volume came in on this 13 hour price bar. That tells us everything we need to know. So for the moment, yeah, you know, you can see Palantir try to go higher in price, but until we see a massive indication of a change, the market in Palantir is still gonna dip lower in price. So that is gonna be our analysis. Okay, we're gonna play uh, the weakness in the market in Palantir still. Now, we got $24 as the area of restriction. You know, that's where we won't actually switch over our analysis of Palantir continue to go lower in price until we see this market break above $24. Now, we're playing this on the long term, okay? So, like I said, initially, we can still see the market in Palantir come and bounce from where we are at right now. That volume tells me that there were buyers coming to the market at least momentarily just to prop up the price. So, yeah, we can see the market initially in Palantir go higher, $22, $24. But then that is where I'm going to look at the market to see if the strip is going to continue. Because if so, yeah, we got our prediction wrong again. But if the, if the weakness continues to be shown at $22, even $24, that weakness is still in play in the long term. Okay, so nothing would change from that perspective. So we're here. We're going to play the weakness into the market in Palantir. And again, the trap is going to play on this earnings. So be prepared for that. And seeing how the market in Palantir has been in a downtrend, it would seem as if the seesaw would be leaning for us to see the market try to bounce right there around our earnings release date, which is why I'm just prepping us for that prediction that the market can go higher price because the trend has always been lower and lower and lower. You know, at some point, the market needs to reverse course. And I would suspect that he would try to act on that on May the 11th. So keep your eyes open on that particular day. And that's it. We're still expecting the weakness. I don't see a lot of strength in the market in Palantir. None. Okay. And this is one of the biggest reasons right here. What occurred within this two month time frame. So now it's your turn. Give me your price prediction into the market for Palantir. Let me know if you all think the market price is going to go higher. Do you think the market price is going to go lower? Tell me where do you all think the market price is going to go and get in position. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, you know what to do. Trade different.